Good afternoon. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I wanted to give you just a quick update on some things going on at the church. Uh, first thing I want to mention is that we are only doing an online service this week. We're not going to do our in-person gathering uh, this Sunday and next Sunday. We're going to take a couple weeks of a break. Uh, we hope to return to an in-person uh, live service on August 9th, but we're just taking a break right now. We have realized that uh, we've seen an increase in the coronavirus spreading and realizing that people are more concerned now than they were a few weeks ago. So we're balancing that. Also realizing that other people, uh, you couldn't vacation in June and school is starting sometime in August. Uh, and so you're getting away on vacation in July. So uh, we've just seen lower numbers in the live service. So we're gonna take a break. Uh, we will be doing an online service and uh, that'll be coming to you the same way it always does. Um, I also wanna encourage you, you know, I've talked to different people that uh, ha have been struggling with depression, um, just different things going on, feeling a bit dark, just having dark thoughts. I want to encourage you in this time, take care of your physical health, but also remember, take care of your spiritual, your emotional health. Find ways to connect with other people. Um, we may not be able to meet in person as the church, but let's not let that keep us from being the church. We can still be the church. Find ways to connect with others. Talk about what's going on in life. Do a Bible study with a friend. Reach out to somebody. Uh, just find ways to stay in touch. Um, also want to mention that our July 31st launch team meeting, we're going to push that out for the same reason we're delaying uh, other things or not doing the live service. Uh, we're going to tentatively schedule it for August 14th. So we're just going to push that out a couple weeks. We're going to keep evaluating these and, and seeing what is the best thing to do uh, at that time. So uh, we want to continue having meetings. We want to continue moving forward as a church. Uh, but we also want to, to make sure that uh, we're going to do things that people are going to be uh, comfortable being at and wanting to be a part of. And we're just going to keep evaluating. We, we want to do in-person meetings. We want to do meetings on Zoom. There's going to be some combination of those happening, but we are going to delay that meeting for a couple weeks. Um, also want to mention we are still doing our business meeting this Sunday. That's going to be on Zoom at 4 p.m. Uh, should take about an hour or so to go through everything. Um, we're gonna talk about uh, things for this next year. We're gonna vote on the budget, a few other items. So uh, the members of the church will be able to vote, but I wanna encourage you that if you've been coming to, Brid uh, coming to Radiant Church and uh, just wanna understand more how we work, more what we're about, uh, this is a great meeting to do that. Uh, if you wanna be a part of that, email us, let us know, and we'd be glad to get you a link so you can participate and, and hear what's in store for us in this next year. Uh, also, just want to remind you that we are big prayer for this summer as we are praying to get a core group of folks that will push this church forward. Uh, you can see on this email, there's a link to the core group form. Just we're asking people that want to be a part of that core group to commit to doing certain things. And so we commit to that. We want to encourage one another, push each other, hold each other accountable to do these things. And we just hope that we get more synergy uh, in, in this leadership core of the church. So love for you to check that out. If you got questions on it, uh, you want to ask me, I would be glad to talk on it. Um, but thanks so much for tuning in. Just want to encourage you, uh, make sure you are uh, staying uh, in connection with God, with his word, with other people, be praying for others. Also be thinking about ways that you can reach out to your neighbors as you uh, need to get out, go for a walk, uh, talk to neighbors, ask them how you can be praying for them. Ask them what struggles they have. Be willing to share your struggles. Sometimes when you share your struggles, it opens other people up to share their struggles and that's where ministry can happen. So uh, be thinking about others, be looking for opportunities to be used by God and let's pray. Let's be praying for God to do a great work in our church and in our community and, and through us. Let's be praying for God to use us. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, we'll, we'll see you later. Bye.